Virtual channels can be used to apply mathematical operations as well as processes to any channel in a data file. Virtual channels are dynamic, so they are not stored on disk, and any expressions applied do not affect the raw data. Virtual channels are created using the analysis menu Virtual Channels Create New Channel command and are shown as channels V1 to Vn in the data file. When a virtual channel is first created, a dialog opens in which you can supply an expression to define the channel contents. Expressions can be entered by hand or built by clicking the arrows button and selecting menu options. The waveform from channel command can be used to copy an existing waveform channel in the form chn. You can also create new waveforms based on instantaneous frequency or event kernels from a digital marker channel. Virtual channels can match the sample rate of existing channels or you can set the required sample interval and alignment in the virtual channel dialog allowing you to upsample or downsample existing data. Virtual channels can be used to perform channel arithmetic, for example, sums and differences of channels. This simple expression, using channel 1 minus channel 2, displays the difference between channels 1 and 2. Mathematical functions can also be used and combined in expression statements. In this example, we use a combination of expressions to display the square root of the sum of squares of the three force channels. Another common use for virtual channels is to generate waveforms. The Generate Waveform menu option allows you to create a channel based on various wave shapes or based on linear time or a polynomial of time. These functions can be used to quickly generate arbitrary waveforms for output as a stimulus. In this example, we will create a 1 kHz tone pip using a combination of an envelope multiplied by a sine wave. I hope that you have found this tutorial on virtual channel expressions useful. Full details of all the virtual channel expression commands are available in the online help.